Greetings once again. Thanks for joining with me today. Have you ever wanted more grace and peace in your life? I think most of us have, especially peace and grace, which is, uh, from our point of view, the strength to get through problems, grace to pass through. Let me uh, read from the beginning of the second letter of Peter, for, uh, chapter 1, verse 2. May grace and peace be yours in abundance in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. This tells us that we have grace and peace when we have knowledge of God and knowledge of Jesus. And many people go through life without seeking God, without seeking any kind of spiritual knowledge. I'm grateful for those people who are on a spiritual path, who want to know about the Almighty One. As our knowledge increases, this scripture says, well, so does our grace and our peace. So how do we get this knowledge? Is it just book knowledge? Is it just reading scriptures or other holy writings or commentaries or reading affirmations or even reading the mystics, which are such beautiful writings? Well, knowledge comes that way, certainly. But more than that, it comes from participation. So today I'm going to give you a little plan for the beginning of your day that might help to jumpstart this gaining of knowledge, a way of participation during the day. Each day, it's a good idea to begin with a time of quiet and contemplation of what we understand about the Divine One already. Now, this isn't uh, a long period of time, just a few minutes of quietness where we think about God. What do we know about the Almighty One, the Holy One? And this sets us a tone of expectation of goodness for our day. It sets a good tone for the rest of the day. It starts us off on the right foot. Now, you may do other things as part of your daily spiritual practice. You may have a prayer time, a study time, a meditation time. But this is just a couple of moments of thinking the very first uh, part of your day. Now, this is especially important in a time of crisis in your life. Determine that you'll be trusting and calm even during chaos. So set that mental and emotional tone for your day. I'm going to be trusting in spirit. I'm going to be calm no matter what the chaos is around me. And as you go through your day, then, watch for moments of divine guidance. If you look for it, you will see spirit guiding you at various moments during the day when you have decisions to make or when your thoughts stray off into inappropriate areas. Spirit will call you back and guide you. And this further knowledge, when we can see the hand of the Spirit guiding us, will bring us even more peace. By practicing calm observation of your life each day, well, that's our path to God's light in our lives. I hope you can join me again tomorrow. Have a really good day.